One thing about stocks, real estate, crypto, sports betting, and e-com, there will always be a buying opportunity. Don't ever dwell on missed opportunities. The more time you spend worrying about what you should have done, the less time you spend strategizing on what you can do now. Aristotle out, baby. Man, I'm just on this thing, just talking, just talking. How you liking the uh, dip? Man, you know, I love it, man. You know, we, we wait for times like this, man. This is when, um, you know, people can really triple their network. I think one of the things we preach and heavy is like, don't be scared of what's going on right now. It's when wealthy people get wealthier, right? Because they understand that, man. So I was studying something like with inverted yield curves and it was saying that like when that happens, 11 of the 13 times recessions have happened. So I'm like, I right, bet. Like, Y'all got to write that down. Inverted yield curves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Inverted yield curves. So that's when um, that's when the short-term bond becomes more valuable than the long-term bond. So when long-term bonds go down and short-term bond yields are higher, that's an inverted yield curve. So that has happened. A recession has followed that 11 of 13 times. biggest struggle chasing success? I would say um, not furthering my education. One thing I would say about business or whether you're investing in real estate, you must stay up to date and get 1% more knowledgeable at the topic you're trying to get better at or make money in. So one mistake I learned was staying complacent within my knowledge. So when, when I first started trading, I thought I had made it. The one thing I do now is I always backtest and I'm always trying to learn more. So I recommend that no matter what you do, always try to learn more. Bandman Kevo asked me the downside of investing in the stock market. Um, airdrop in one of the videos. You know what I mean? And we, we, we always hear about, uh, you know, what's the, what's the negative, what's the negativity part of it? Ignorance is the negativity part of it. Like, all you really need to know to get started in the stock market is, like, the basics, fundamentals. Fundamentals is the study of their balance sheets and the background, like, the pretty much looking at their expenses and data. Mm -hmm. Technical is looking at the actual chart and watching patterns and trends. So technicals is going to show you where to enter. Fundamentals is going to show you whether you should hold them for a long time. So mm -hmm. fundamentals is the study of their profitability, right? Because that's all you're trying to see is how profitable they are and where the, and you need to see cash flow. That's what I'm saying. So you, I can show you how to watch to see if a company has actual cash flow. So now that I... Now how to make a lot of money when stocks go down? The answer is simple. Buy puts. Puts bet on the stock to go down. Calls bet on the stock to go up. But in this case, we're talking about puts. Now, I'm gonna teach you three strategies that I personally use to buy puts. You're gonna learn what I use and what I see when I'm looking to buy puts. Let's get it. Number one, breaks of key levels of support. As you can see, that white line is the key level of support and that candlestick broke down and that's when I like to buy puts. Whenever we get a key level of support breakdown. Number two, a retest of broken support. That's the second most high probability way I like to short stocks when trading options, put options specifically. And number three, the third touch of resistance. I like to swing put options, meaning hold overnight whenever I see a nice third touch of resistance on a high time frame like the hourly, daily, even weekly chart. And you best believe we're bringing in that money from them put options, 20 bands, 10 bands. Seven bands, seven, seven, seven. Let's not even discuss it, man. Know what's going on. Eight bands, 11 bands. We getting all this money, baby. And watch these sport betting numbers. $50 to make 285, 150 to make 615, $10 to make $53, 15 to make 77. Link in my box. Disney is at a low. I would recommend buying Disney. Disney like right now? Yes, I would recommend you depositing some money and buying Disney. I would also recommend you depositing some money and buying PayPal because they're at like the lowest they've been. So the best time to buy 
is when it's a drought. So you can give stocks to kids, nieces, nephews, whatever you want. So let's just say you buy a whole bunch of shares of Disney, or like let's just say you put a, a smooth fifty thousand in. I guarantee eighteen years from now that fifty gonna be a hundred. I guarantee that it's Disney, right? You can give that to somebody in your will if you wanted to, and that's how you can use stocks as like generational wealth, things like that. Then you can get dividends on certain stocks. So let's just, it only takes about 11 million, no, it takes about 14 million to make a million off dividends. Right. Meaning like free money that they give you, that the, that the company has to give you. So certain companies like uh, Coca-Cola. So here's one business tip that I noticed while I'm in Milan, Italy. So I was outside and I was looking for food last night and I noticed that all of the restaurants and businesses were closed at 12 a.m. So I said, dang, if everything closes at 12 a.m., especially on a Saturday, all I got to do is come here and open up anything or any restaurant that opens at 12 a.m. So it's like all you got to do is fill a void in any city, anywhere, or even online. You got to notice what's missing, and then you got to fill that void. You feel me? So one thing I learned about getting money in business is you have to fill a void or something that people want or need. So I know that these people desperately want some food at the 12. You feel me? Like I can go to any city, no matter what city in America, open something up late night and it's gonna boom. You feel me? Why? Because that's what people need. It's a void that's missing. And all you gotta do is advertise and make it a culture. Hey, we got this food at 12. I got ads, I got posters, I go to the club. Food, you know what I'm saying? That's how you do it. You gotta build it. All right? Square style of business till 101. Hey, good morning.